All right, in this one, we're going to see a before and after script. It's going to be a short one because you can probably guess what before and after script does. It's something that it's a script that is executed before the script or a script that is executed after the script. Uh, the main one, uh, I mean. So here, as always, I have uh, an empty repo, which I have cloned. Here we currently have only one stage test. And I'm going to uh, copy some stuff over. So in previous videos, I uh, I had like the images, for example, uh, like the the global uh, image for the for the pipeline uh, that way. But apparently this is deprecated. I had it on the top level, but apparently now it's better better to put it in a, a default subsection, which uh, is also a bit cleaner in my opinion. But so we're gonna very quickly see how before script works. And uh, let me uh, cp uh, test, test add here. So this is just the test add that I had in previous videos. Uh, just it just runs one unit test and passes. Uh, and I also will run the black formatter to show uh, a few jobs. Uh, and so you can see that here I have a format job. I have a, a pytest job, which both execute uh, black and pytest. But of course, you need to install those dependencies. And uh, we could like have uh, in the script uh, a pip install here uh, and a pip install here, but it's a bit cleaner to have just since those st steps are kind of in common between the jobs, we can just have a, a global before script that will be executed for every single job um, before the, the actual script. And so let's see this in action. All right, it's done. So as you can see, uh, our format and pytest jobs passed. And here you see pip install pytest black that was executed before the actual script, which is black check. And same thing for pytest. There is the main script, which is pytest, and there is the pip install. So that's basically like the main reason to use before script to just have some common behavior amongst the uh, job that you want to execute uh, well before the main script. Uh, one thing to note is that you can overwrite the before script. So for example, I have an overwrite job here that uh, declares uh, itself a before script. And so it's the same kind of concept to like uh, variables if the before script is defined in the in the job itself it will overwrite the global one all right it's done and if we go in the overwrite job we can see that it uses the before script of the the job itself and not the one of the pipeline and i just wanted to show as well that if you declare uh, for example a variable uh, in the before script you can reuse it in the regular script that's because the before script and the script will just get uh, concatenated and they will run in the same shell. Unlike the after script, which we will see in a, in a bit, which runs uh, in a separate shell and also uh, resets the, the working directory. Uh, so now let me yeah, just show an example of the uh, after script which, uh, well, as the name in Pence, runs after the script. And so here what I'm doing is just uh, overwriting the global one. And uh, the only thing I'm, do I'm showing is that uh, you can generally use it to maybe ping another service that the, the pipeline is done or uh, like display some information about the, the status of, the, of your application or whatever after the script has run. And so this is my the global after script. Uh, and you can also, of course, uh, overwrite it. Okay, and here we see that if we go in any of the jobs, we see that after running the, the main one, it uh, installed the curl and uh, curl the weather.in, which is the, just a, a TTY, like a weather, uh, weather thing that just shows the weather in your area. And so this will be executed for every single job after the job. And uh, a particularity of after script, script is that even if the main script fails, so if your unit test or uh, your formatter fails, the after script will always run. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about uh, before and after script. Uh, quite handy for uh, to uh, 
abstract some common behavior from jobs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.